Now, the country director of International Alerts Nigeria, Paul Nulaku, is advocating a cordial working partnership with media organizations. Now, the goal is to create awareness about the organization's activities in building peace and unity across Nigeria's vast cultural and religious diversity. Nulaku made this call during an interactive session with journalists in Abuja, the nation's capital. He also discussed international alerts climate peace building work in specific states like Benue and Sokoto, noting that these projects are already yielding significant impact. Furthermore, Nulako stated that the international alert is working closely with the Nigeria police on reforms, with a special focus on training and increasing awareness on the Police Act 2020 through collaboration with the Nigeria Police Public Relations Officers. We want to work with you, we want you to give us feedback, we want you to support the visibility of the work that we do, but most importantly the impact that our peace building work is having on the ground in Nigeria. We've recently gone into police reform, um, police reform type work, and it's focused on training, it's focused on uh, working with police public relations officers, fundamentally on uh, increasing awareness on Police Act 2020. We're expanding our work stream uh, to outer areas. We've also recently gone into climate peace building work. We're doing that in Benue and Sokoto. And there's a lot of, you know, impact that that project is having. Uh, it's a peace building climate change project that has three outcomes. And those outcomes, one is around building social cohesion. That's what we're about. Um, secondly, is around dealing with the impact of climate change. The third objective is increasing income. Uh, we call it prosperity. We try to see how we can uh, change behaviors of uh, society by uh, looking at alternative narratives um, that counter these negative narratives that were identified in the workshop in, uh, that we had uh, in Sokoto. So um, there are different narratives, not uh, not just um, uh, religious, uh, cultural. Um, we have um, uh, narratives that are so you know uh, predominant in the fabrics of society that you know it's so difficult for people to be able to move from them or understand that there are different ways that they can actually do things uh, or they can actually uh, make things work for them themselves without uh, going those negative ways. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.